There could soon be more LGBTQ advocates at City Hall. A new ordinance hopes to establish the Kansas City Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Trans and Queer Commission. Abby Dodge is live outside of City Hall with where the city is in this process. Abby. Ellen, the ordinance to establish the LGBTQ commission was pushed back to early December. Supporters say they're disappointed. They'll have to wait a little bit longer, but they're keeping a positive outlook. EJ Wood started a business making candles in Kansas City. <coughs> they're still getting settled into a new shop no, in Liberty. We're here and this is a safe place to come shop or if you just need anything that this is somewhere that people will know to go. As a queer owned business, they're excited at the possibility of having a stronger voice at City Hall. The need's been there. It's, this is not a new thing, but that our city, and I'm so proud of Kansas City that we're stepping up to the plate um, and really creating that, especially for queer youth and LGBTQ youth. The new ordinance would create an unpaid 13 member commission with experts on health, housing, public safety, and one representative from each district. Justice Horn is leading the push for this commission. He says LGBTQ voices are needed. It's not only an opportunity for more LGBTQ representation and city government, but it's an opportunity to advance LGBTQ policies here in our city. Atlanta has an LGBTQ advisory board, making it the LGBTQ capital of the South. Horn hopes the same can happen here in the Midwest. I want Kansas City to be that and, and more. Council pushed the hearing for the ordinance to December. Supporters say it gives them more time to find additional allies. Yeah. If we want to hear all people and understand all stories and be a better city, this, this is just one step towards that. If passed, there will be at least 13 new voices to hear. Right now, City Council is busy figuring out where they're going to make cuts for the budget. Now, Horn does tell me that these commissioner positions would be unpaid. This all goes before the City Council on December 2nd. Live in Kansas City, Abby Dodge, KC TV5 News. Thank you, Abby.